When I was in school, when they were shouting walk or what, I didn't know who was who. I hear you from Disney, Disney. I wasn't a football this thing. But they are not against it. When I'm, I'm privileged to watch a match, I watch it, you know, but uh, I don't have that very distraction. I, I don't feel compelled to watch a match if I don't want to. You know, but some people are compelled, and there are many things that um, get people's attention off track. And once you're being distracted, being distracted always, your creative force can be focused. Your mind is very important in life. All right, now. So and another problem, because of the things available now, the technologies and, those, and some of those things, young people you tend, to be, you tend to be absorbed with non-essentials. So you, some of you have a way of escaping from your environment. You bury yourself in your phone, bury yourself on the internet. Even when there is nothing meaningful, every minute you're there, you're not living in a real world. That's the truth. Because you're always buried in the internet, living in a virtual world. When you encounter real life, you don't know how to handle it. You can't live your life in a virtual way. You're easily absorbed, addicted to gadgets and, and such things. Then there is this tendency for you to think that you know it all. Young people, you tend to think that you know it all. It, you see that reflect when somebody gives you an advice or it gives you an information on a better way to do something you're doing. You tend to reject such. And it's not in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. The, the, the Paul said that let anyone that thinks that he knows know this, that he doesn't yet know as he ought to know. Are you hearing me? So you, you tend to think that you know so much because of the volume of information coming in your generation. And so what happens is that a lot of times you have a lot of information load without being wise. There is a difference even between intel being intelligent and being wise. How many of us know? You can be intelligent without being wise. To be wise, you have to, be as to associate with the wise and you have to work with the Holy Spirit. These are weaknesses. Then you have, you detest correction. Yet you don't want to do the right thing most, a lot of times. You don't want to do, well, you don't, no, if you don't want correction, just make sure you do the right thing and nobody will disturb you. Are you hearing me? You tend to detest Correction. To the, when you're corrected, you feel you're being slighted, and that is a wrong attitude. The Bible says, who's, who, who, which child does his father not correct? If you're not corrected by your father, he's treating you like a bastard. If you're without correction, you can't coast well. You tend to detest correction. You feel it as a slight. You're too ego-conscious and too self-conscious. And you know, when the Bible says in Lamentations 3, 27, 28, it said it's good for a young man that he bear the yoke, for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. He said he bends down, kiss the dust and bear the yoke. Take corrections when it comes. You know, nobody is slighting you. It's necessary. I take corrections up to now. There are many things I don't know. There are people I bounce ideas off when I'm about to do something, depending on what it is. So another thing is that you have this devotion to entertainment. And so you're always playing with toys. You always have toys you're playing with. There is this the, the, the devotion to entertainment. Um, so most times, the young people tend to focus on entertainment. But listen to me. Sometimes people, like the white man, doesn't mind if you're in, the, in entertainment. You can go on with the entertainment, go on with all the sports, and they own the sports companies or sports teams. You can go on with the entertainment, go on with all the music, go on. Why they take the politics, take the government, take technology, take medicine? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? You can make money. You can make money, but because you're that many of them that make that money in entertainment don't really maximize the use of it. Entertainment is there, but you must be a balanced person. Are you here? You must be balanced. So you devote so much, you tend to devote so much to entertainment. 
And then you have little interest in spirituals. Spiritual things, you tend to feel bored about spiritual things. But you can't run away from spiritual things because you're a spirit. You're a spirit and God wants you to know how to serve in the spirit. You have to learn how to serve in the spirit. People of Eastern religions, from your age, they train them how to meditate, how to surf in the spirit, how to get into the spirit realm. In a demonic way, you must, if you want to cause well, you can't run away from spirituals. You're a spirit. It's not boring. It's the best life. You must learn how to live in the spirit and how to live in the physical. Man is the only one designed to live that way. Are you here? So don't run away from spirituals and think it's boring. Pray. This is the time to sow the seed of prayer. And then you reap the harvest very soon. You have energy now, you can pray. You can pray. There is much you can do.